perspective, right? I think, uh, say what you will, a woman's perspective is just different than a man's perspective. Sure. I don't care what how brilliant you are. It's different. And I think that balance matters, especially in decision making and client services. Well, to- tomorrow things. night, there's a great event at the Granada. There that is. You got. Could you tell us about that? I'd love to. Um, Kevin Marvin, who is the um, executive director of the symphony, decided that they couldn't get all their musicians here for the red violin performances that were going to happen this weekend. And that he really wanted to do something that was healing. He feels that music is a healing, has healing powers. And so they have a resident uh, guitarist, and he, Pablo, agreed to perform. And there are a handful of musicians. I think he said 13 of them. And uh, the Granada gave them uh, the theater for the night free. Wow. And so it's just a chance to bring the community together for a free concert where people can come and just feel at peace um, for Feel a the while music together. just kind of wash it, over them. It's, it's a, yeah. a stunning yeah. theater for uh, our listeners who aren't in Santa Barbara, and I think that theater goes back to survive, didn't it, the earthquake it, it, back it, it in did. the 19th? It did. It has quite the story. It, um, it was like one of the things left standing. And um, I know the Tobes were, had a lot to do with the remodeling of, too. Boy, so every, wow. every nail. Uh-huh. Every <laughs> nail. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's really <laughs> worth Googling the theater to see the pictures. Yeah, it's beautiful. The Granada mm-hmm. Theater. And come to Santa Barbara. Barbara for more concerts yeah. because we have amazing things at the we Granada do. every week. We do. And we, it's a beautiful theater that should be enjoyed by everyone. Yes. We want to mention it's a free event tomorrow evening where the community is just invited to come on out and feel that comfort of music. But Montecito Bank and Trust staff will be there. And if you feel so inclined, accepting donations. And I love this. So tell tell me where the donations go to and how it's okay. overseen. Um, so the United Way in Santa Barbara is very unique in the way the United Way operates. I don't know if you know about that, but it's very it's very different. And uh, when the tea fire happened several years ago, they rallied and said, okay, we've got to do something just for Santa Barbara, just for these victims. And they created a process where uh, people, they would accept the donations because they were good at that. And they would also give them out. But what they wanted is an independent organization who could really assess the need. And so the Red Cross stepped in and organized a team of people who would actually interview the people and take the application for need, pass it on to United Way once it was approved, and the United Way distributed it. So all the dollars stayed in Santa Barbara. As soon as this happened, Steve Ortiz, he rallied away. He put it in place. It's all ready to go. They know how to do it. So um, it's a tested, proven exercise to, to do I this I love kind it. Of and and uh, 1,500 people, let's just say everybody gives $10, $150,000. Well, no, that would, be, wait, wait. that would be no, no. $15,000. No, that would be $15,000. No. But, but yeah. that's yeah. a great dent. <laughs> that's a great yeah. start. And, and it's my expectation. When you, Santa Barbara is the kind of place that when you, when you put it out there and you create a space where people can do something, they will, they will give at whatever level they feel comfortable giving. So, I mean, if you said just everybody gave ten and $15,000, what a wonderful start that is. You can just imagine. But so many people have asked me, you know, what do we do? Where do we give money? How do we support? And there's so many things going on. Um, this is a really easy way for somebody to say, oh, I know it's going to be completely directed to the people who really need it, who are really suffering. And we're talking with Janet Garufus. She is the chair and CEO of Montecito Bank and Trust, and hopefully see a lot of our listeners out there tomorrow, 730 at the Granada Theater. It's free, and uh, come on out. Janet, thank you so much for being with us. It's my pleasure. Thank you, And I would just like to encourage anybody, any business out there who's struggling, give us a call. We've got programs in place already to help you. We've already helped a number of businesses. Um, so we really were there to help. And for individuals who have been individually impacted, we've, uh, especially our own customers, we have created uh, special programs to help them. So please give us a That's call. That's fantastic. Um, we're happy to help. Uh. Great news. Thank you, Janet. Okay. You're listening. Thanks for the opportunity. I'm so of glad course, you're here. to Cowork Radio here on KZSB 1290 AM. And we'll be back right after this. The signature of the incredible jewelry selection at Bryant & Sons is a blend of ideal materials, conceived to the perfect shape, and then precisely finished. And throughout this process, the highest possible quality must be ensured, so that in the end, a work of art is created that stands for unmatched elegance. At Bryant & Sons, all our jewelry must meet these standards. We source the finest designs from around the world and create our own as well, so that you will have an unparalleled selection of art created from platinum, gold, and precious gemstones. When you choose jewelry that is not only worn with pleasure, but also admired for its exceptional qualities, 
It's from Bryant & Sons. If you're considering acquiring a distinguished piece of jewelry as a gift or for yourself, visit us at Bryant & Sons and let us show you how remarkable materials and exquisite design combine to create a timeless keepsake. Bryant & Sons, California's premier jeweler, 812 State Street in downtown Santa Barbara and the Upper Village in Montecito. Hi, it's Catherine Raymock. Are you buying or selling a home? See Compass Realtor Terry Riken. I went to Terry because of his reputation and experience, but was quickly taken by his genuine enthusiasm. It's that combination that truly sets him apart. Terry specializes in properties in Montecito, Hope Ranch, Santa Barbara, and San Inez Valley, and has 39 years of experience as an agent and broker. There are so many realtors to choose from, but only one Terry Riken. Find out for yourself. Google search Terry Riken. Koto Group. We are a boutique property management firm located here in the Central Coast. We are small enough to prioritize your business and large enough to match the right tenants with your property. Koto Group. We work for you 24-7 with around-the-clock marketing and emergency service. At Koto Group, we use leading-edge software, making us efficient and cost-effective. Koto Group. Property management for the 21st century. And welcome back to Cowork Radio here on KZSB 1290 AM. I'm Catherine Raymock. And I'm Jane Walker-Wood. And we are a show all about the modern entrepreneur. And uh, we are going to take a look at some events yeah, that are coming Yeah, in up. a minute we'll tell you about uh, the events. But, oh, and next, sorry, in a minute we'll talk about next week's guest, J.P. Knapp, the founder of Koto Group Property Management, is going to be here. And also Joel Heath, who's the CEO of Company in Motion, and they make fluid stamps. But uh, locally, what's that impact hub this week? There's Run Club tomorrow night. That's Jan 18th at 6 p.m. You meet at 110 Anacapa Street for that. And also the Writers Group is tomorrow night. Meet at downtown 530 for that. And Mentoring tomorrow afternoon with uh, Marilyn O'Malley. Um, also, boy, this evening from 5.30 to 7, it is uh, Puppet Palooza. You can join us as we learn about Santa Barbara's first large-scale family-centric festival, which is called Puppet Palooza. It's a festival that you do not want to miss. Four days of puppets that will take over the city of Santa Barbara. And uh, Mitchell Kriegman, who is a pal of both of ours, is working on this. He is amazing. He's published in The New Yorker and The uh, New York Press, Glamour and Harper's Bazaar, super creative guy, and he's behind all of this. Yeah, we're going to be having him on the show, so check out our website. Uh, also, Saturday, that's January 20th, there is complimentary Reiki healing for anyone affected by the Thomas fires and flood. Also, uh, tropical gardening and water harvesting workshop with uh, Sweetwater Collaborative, and they are great for uh, educating you on, uh, especially if you want to do drought tolerant gardens. On the 26th, on Monday, you got meditation. The 24th, Entrepreneurs Coffee and Connect. Also mentoring with Carrie Azuma and massages on the 24th. I think those are free. Yeah, and you can also check out impacthubsb.com for any of those events and more. And because they do have a lot of them, make sure you mention Cowork Radio and you'll receive 10% off your first six-month membership. As Jane mentioned, don't forget to join us next week, Joel. Heath is going to be here, the founder of Company in Motion and the makers of Fluid Stance as well. You are listening to Cowork Radio, and we thank you for that here on KCSB 1290 AM. We'll see.